Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review and demo of the Cover FX Click Sticks. So if you want to see how I got on with them, then let's do it. So I think the actual name of the Click Sticks is something a little bit longer with more C's in it, but you know, who's got time for that? And because I decided not to buy the green one, I have a giant zit. So that's great. So CoverFX recently released these. They come in kind of three categories. So you can get correct clicks, cover clicks, and then I think there's an enhanced click or like a highlighter. And you can also buy these tubes, which is, the, I guess this is the click stick. So you could get two of these and then you like put them in here and you've got two in one. So I decided to get the peach corrector and the yellow corrector. Now, they come with purple tops, which was confusing to me because I was like, well, I didn't buy the lilac one. Why have they sent me two lilac ones? I guess that's just the color of the correcting ones, but they are the peach and the yellow shade. And I also got two of the cover shades. So I got G40, which is like my kind of average foundation color from them. And then I also got G80 so that I could like bronze with it. So I decided to get these because I do travel a fair amount and I love anything that is gonna make that a bit easier and make makeup application quicker and I don't have to put them in liquids bags and stuff like that. And I love that you can get these to kind of have two in one. So the correctors and foundations and enhanced shades um, are sold singularly and they're $18 each. Now, these are tiny. I hope that it shows up how tiny they are on film. They're about the same size as a lip balm, which it's crazy, but maybe they last a really long time and that makes it worth it. So those are $18 each, and then you buy the click stick for $8. Now, because they are tiny, I'm guessing I'm not gonna be using these every day, but if they work well, I think for travel, it could be worth it. I don't know how long they last, so I'm trying not to like make my mind up right away. So what I'm gonna do is use the correctors first, and I'm gonna use the peach. Now they do come in a few different shades. You can get like a much deeper orangey um, shade to use on darker skin tones. This does look like it's kind of leaking a bit. Like there's a liquid coming out of it, which well, that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? So I don't know if this is weird, but I'm gonna dab it off on some tissue because it doesn't seem like it should be wet. So this is the peach shade. It's not as orange as some, um, but it is a nice kind of salmon color. And then you have the yellow as well, which is obviously also fairly light, but I do believe that they have deeper shades for darker skin tones. So I'm gonna start with the peach one. I'm gonna put that just on the darkest areas. And if you're ever unsure of what color corrector to use for certain discoloration, just look on Google Images and search for um, color wheel. Whatever's opposite one another is gonna cancel the other one out. So for like blue or purple, it's gonna be a peachy shade and then like red is gonna be green. Yellower shades is gonna be like a lilac. Um, and I am going to blend that out first. So I'm using a pro highlighter brush from Beauty Junkies. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. And I'm trying this with like a soft brush first just because I'm not sure what's gonna work best with it. So it does seem to blend out fairly well. It does have pigment left over. That usually is actually better. I think sometimes people find that scary because they're like, well, you can see the orange now, but that is gonna give you more coverage than it just disappearing altogether. And we're gonna put stuff on top, so. I do feel like I can still see some blue in there, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more and try it with a finger instead. And I'm gonna try not to put it on my actual eyeball this time. Well, I mean, I do think it's okay as a corrector. I almost think this might be one of the peach ones that's gonna be better if you just draw it on and then go over it with your foundation or concealer um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the foundation shade now so like I said this is G40 which is like my regular foundation color I'm gonna start on my nose actually because I have this ginormous zit which I already tried to cover up a little bit I'm gonna use the yellow now I decided not to get a green because I was like I don't need much red correction so I'm not gonna get the green one I do today I'm going to draw it around the zit 
and kind of blend it over. Because the yellow is gonna cancel out some mild redness. If it's a lot more extreme, that's when a green is gonna be useful. So, you know, I grew the zit especially to test this out. <clears throat> You're welcome. And now we're gonna move back to the G40. So, start on the center of the face. And to blend it out, I'm gonna use the Zoeva 104 buffer. Well, so far so good. That did blend out very nicely um, and gave a good coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it on the rest of my face and blend the rest out. So I really like this shade. I do think it blended out really well with that brush. Um, and the reason I tried this one is because when I travel, I'll usually take the Hourglass little retractable Kabuki. So I figured that was fairly similar to that. Now it did kind of uncover this zit a bit, but I don't think anything besides wool spackle is really gonna cover this right now. Anyway, while that settles down, I'm going to use G80. So this is the shade I'm gonna be using for bronzing. So I do think one good thing about them being small, especially if you're gonna use it for bronzing, is that you can be pretty precise um, and you've not just got like a huge stick, you know? And I'm gonna use the Furless CB3 to blend that out because this is a nice kind of bronzing or contouring brush. So that did blend in really nicely, which it should do since it's the same formula, same product. I really like the color, um, I like the finish, and I do think that that was very easy to do. I almost think what could be cool is if you used like your regular foundation and then got a light one and a dark one, um, so that you could actually like highlight and bronze with that. Um, I am gonna use a little bit on my nose and I'm gonna blend out with a different brush. I'm gonna try that um, highlighter brush again for this to give a kind of softer, you know what the word is. Now moving back to the yellow and I did find myself picking them all up to see which one was which because I haven't quite grasped the fact that all correctors are purple and all foundations are black yet, but you know, maybe I'll get there. So I'm gonna highlight in here. I'm gonna highlight here. I'm also gonna try and cover that again. So let's, you know, yellow that up. And I would apologize for my fake tan hands, but the only one I should be apologizing to is myself, really. So, there we go. I do love the finish. I think that the correctors are good, but I just, I really love the foundation and bronzer that I picked out. Um, I think that they blend in really well. I really like the finish. Obviously, you can't really tell right now because I don't have any of the rest of my makeup done. So I am gonna go ahead and do that in a second, but first I wanna show you how the um, click stick itself works. So obviously I got two because I have four of their sticks. So these are the two foundation shades. What you do is take the lid off that they came in, put one in, right, and it'll click. And then you push the other one in and it will click. Now, what I thought would happen to get them out is you would kind of like click it and it would release. But that's not what happens. You click it from one side and that pushes the other one out. And then 
to get the other one out, you can't really, because it's like in there. So what you have to do is get the end of the one you've already got out and push down to get the other one out. Which seems weird to me and I feel like it should just like click, pop, click, pop. But instead you put one in, click it, put the other one in, click it just enough so that they're both flush with the end, otherwise if you push it too far, it will come out. And then to get both out, you do that on one end. And then I use the base of that one to push the other one out. So, personally, I think there could be a little bit of improvement on this to make it be more of like a click pop type thing and not like a you just push it through with each product. That's just me being picky. But I do like the idea that your, you know, foundation and bronzer is in one of these and then your correctors are also in one because that's most of your face makeup then in those two things. And I don't know if you can get blushes, but you can get um, enhance, which are like highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to you with my final thoughts. So now that I've got the rest of my makeup done, I used, I did use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder just to set things, which I always would use regardless of the product. And then on my cheeks, I have the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in How Deep Is Your Love. I couldn't cover up this zit completely, but I just didn't really care. And um, yeah, I didn't use any bronzer, which I usually would do powder bronzer as well, even if I have done cream. I'm sorry if you can hear the snane hitting the windows, but you know, that's just nature. So overall, so far, I do really like the product. I can't get out of my head how small they are. I think that having something like this, which is like four products for travel in these like handy little things is pretty cool. Like I said, I think that the way that they come out is kind of weird and the fact that once you've taken one out, you can't just like, you have to jam your finger in there to get the other one out or you know, jam the end of the tube in there to get it out. That just seems like maybe a little bit of an oversight. I love the idea of them. I thought that they applied very easily. I think that the correctors worked well. I do really like the finish it gave, but I just did do a little bit of setting powder over the top, but overall, I do really like it. I will have a bullet point review list below of these products, along with how they last throughout the day, so I'll be sure to keep an eye on this today and let you know how it goes. I think if you're someone who travels or someone who really finds it convenient to kind of have like a couple products in one or stick products to make things easier, then this is a really good idea. But if you just want a regular foundation um, for day to day and it doesn't matter if it's liquid or solid or whatever, then maybe it's not the best. Um, but I do think it is a great start. So um, if you are someone who's always on the go, I think you might really enjoy them. If you're someone who likes to have very minimal makeup products, I think this would be a good idea because you could have, like I did, the bronzer and your foundation in one, and then a couple correctors or a corrector and a highlighter in one. Yeah, and I do just think it's really neat. I've been looking for solid um, face products for a while now. So the fact that more companies are coming out with them, I do really enjoy. So like I said, I will have this all kind of in bullet point reviews in a blog post below. If you have these products, let me know what you think. And I will, um, I've probably kept you guys updated on Snapchat about what I think so far anyway. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and share it with your friends. And I will see you next time. Bye.